The name Landscape Theatre came out of, um, it was almost a joke. We, we, I was outside um, directing a piece on a cliff and we were looking at what the next thing could be and down there was a long path and I got people to drag corrugated iron, oh, this is a long time ago, got drag corrugated iron along. And th that was it really, that, that particular moment was this person coming from an awful long way away and with stones on a piece of corrugated iron right across this landscape on the coast of Cornwall. And somebody said, what do you call this work? I said, it's landscape theatre. Uh, and it stuck. The major thing that makes Wild Works different is, is going outside. It is, it, it, the, it's the it's finding real places. I, I, I find that profoundly exciting. To find a real site that gives you all sorts of resonances. It gives you, it gives you real history, but we don't tend to worry about that too much. You're trying to find um, the um, genius loci. You're trying to find the spirit of that, of, of that place. And that's what we delve with. And I, you know, that, I think, makes us different to an awful lot of other companies. Wild work stories are always developed in the same way. First of all, you find a site and you just go to the site all the time. You attend to the site and the site starts to speak to you. It starts to tell you what the dynamics are. You then start to talk to people who are around, live there, work there, and they then start to give you another dimension. They start to tell you things about the place they live and then you realize you, you find the passion from those people and you find the connection. With the, with the place from those people. And they're telling you more than memories. They're telling you their values. They're telling you the things that are important to them. And if you attend to that, you can make a piece of work. I love going into different different worlds. So discovering the world of Kensington Palace compared with um, discovering the world of the of the Navy at uh, Devonport, compared with discovering all the people um, uh, who who lived and worked around. And when we did uh, Sutra um, in small villages. Um, all the people that worked um, in a department store that had been closed down, we found all those people, we talked to all those people, we got the stories of all those people. That's fascinating because I don't know where it's going to go. You, you start, it, it is detective work. It's, you start, you start um, with a gut feeling that this is going to be, this is an interesting site and these are interesting people. I hate the idea that we will be parachuting in and doing a show um, on landing on people in a really clumsy way. And it always takes time for us to meet people, to, to allow those people to introduce us to other people, to start to, 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 to gain that trust, really, so that we can do the work. Um, and that's why partners are really important to us. We, it, it's not something we can do on our own. It's not something I would want to do on my own as a, as, as, as a company. Um, people can introduce us to, to the right people. They, they have a sensitivity already. 
And that's what we're looking for, a good partner is somebody who they have, you know, to, to introduce us to people that they always wanted to work with. And we can be, we're a catalyst. We're a really good catalyst. We can start to make things happen. We can start to give people a voice. We can start to do all sorts of things. In Port Talbot, when we were doing The Passion, um, it's almost, a, it's a town that, that people bypass. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a place that a lot of people just go over the top of. And I probably haven't found a place that, that is as passionate um, about who they are, about their identity, and about their love of town. And that's a real privilege when you find that. That's a real privilege to, to discover. Um, to discover that and a real privilege then to be able to work with that and create a piece of work. The reason for doing the work in this way for me is there is something about not being quite in control of the weather, of, of people, of the, of the location, and that makes it incredibly exciting. That there's, there's, there's meaning that comes out of um, the spontaneity. You can't plan an awful lot in advance. That It wouldn't work for, for, what, for what we do. You have to find the right Thing. And actually, it doesn't really matter whether um, you're in a quarry by the sea or actually you're in Kensington Palace. You're still trying to find the, the thing that works there. Um, so I love that spontaneity and I love the truth that comes out of the spontaneity. Other, there's other companies that work with community. There's other companies that work um, on, on shows outside in the landscape. There's, there's lots of site-specific companies now. There's very few companies, and I think we, we are quite unique, in the fact we cover all those areas, that we work very closely, and, and it's the, it's, I mean, I work with the community. Um, the production team work with the community. We, we are making the theatre at the same time, we're making those theatre moments, we're making the spectacle at the same moment, and at the same time we're embedding it into the narrative, all at the same time. I think we're unique in doing that. What I've been looking for are, are sites, places that, that absolutely um, excite you, that connect, that connect your imagination, and you know it would connect the imagination of an audience. But I think more and more, we have to find the right people, the people who are passionate about that place, the people who, who have a profound, connection with that place.